One cool crisp morning, long ago, an Iroquois chief named Waxis crawled out of his lodge. He was going hunting for the day, so he yanked his hatchet out of the maple tree where he had stuck it the night before. The blade of the hatchet had made a deep gash in the tree, but Waxis didn't pay any attention to it. He left for hunting. Leaning against the base of the maple tree was a birch bark bowl. Drop by drop, watery looking sap from the gash in the maple tree trickled into the bowl. The next day, Wax's wife noticed that the bowl was full. Thinking the colorless sap was water, she took the bowl home and used the liquid to cook a venison stew. Later that evening, when she and Waxis were having dinner, Waxis smiled and said, This is a wonderful stew. It tastes sweet. Mystified, she stuck a finger into the stew that had cooked all afternoon on the fire. Waxis was right. The stew was sweet. Maple syrup had just been discovered. Here we have the tap that is in the tree and watch the magic fluid come from this marvelous tree. Drip, drop into the bucket. Once again, the traditional way of gathering sap from the sugar bush. We have magnificent Canadian horse and a Morgan named Kate and one named Bella. Let's take a look at the barrel that we gather the water or sap from the trees. These wonderful horses, Kate and Bella. Wait, Sean. Put the barrel. Watch this. There we go. Good. Okay. Bella and Kate are bringing the sap to the sugar shack. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> to make one tablespoon of syrup, you need 40 tablespoons of sap. So that's a lot of boiling to get to the sweet stuff. What a beautiful day. The evaporator. The sap collected in buckets and in tubes all ends up in an evaporator. Here the sap is boiled so that the water in it evaporates, leaving behind the thick syrup. An evaporator looks like a long metal table built on a slight slant. On top, there is a large shallow metal pan 
which is divided into three or more sections and a smaller pan, which is called the finishing pan. Underneath is a fire box. Some modern fire boxes are heated by gas or oil, but here we have the traditional evaporator with wood burning. When it's time to make the syrup, sap is poured into the large pan, which is over here. Because the pan is tilted, sap flows through the sections. Here. Of the evaporator in a thin layer. So it goes in through a thin layer. All the time it is flowing through the evaporator, it is boiling. By the time it flows into the finishing pan, right here, most of the water has evaporated and the syrup is almost ready. Sometimes a candy thermometer is put into the syrup When the syrup is four degrees Celsius above the boiling point, water and syrup both boil at 100 degrees Celsius, it is ready. An instrument that floats in the syrup and tells us how thick it is can also be used. This is called a hydrometer. When the syrup is finished, it is filtered twice through flannel now you see, or felt strainers to remove any impurities which are called sugar sand. The hot syrup is poured into sterilized bottles or cans before its temperature drops below 83 degrees Celsius. Then it is sterile, germ-free, and ready to be eaten. all the vapor and here well, is the finished the product April 26 2020